Okay guys, hey, I found a 1964 Oldsmobile Starfire. This thing's a real clean one. Let's take a good look at it, all right? Yeah, look at the front end of this thing. This big front, massive front end. The hood itself is big, long and wide. But these, that's how they were building them in 64. This thing's clean, very, very clean. Going down the fuselage down the side here. See all of the red paint with the chrome trim. Look at the rear end of this thing. Very, very clean. Very, very clean. Starfire. Let's look at the glass. Glass is clean. The trim all on the top, going all the way around. Very clean, no mix, no nothing. This thing looks really, really, really nice. I mean, you can't beat it. Unless you find another Starfire that's in immaculate condition, better than this thing. This thing is beautiful. The class that is in compared to what the Apollos and whatever Pontiac put out, this, that, and the other, you have the same thing except the Oldsmobile styling. These Oldsmobile put out some really nice cars back in the day. I know so because we own quite a bit of Oldsmobiles. My father did. Chevy too, Pontiac as well. These things are nice, really nice. It's a lot of room in this car, especially for the split console down there. Floor shifter, interior looks nice, dashboard looks really nice. Let's look at the driver's side. Look at the inside of this thing from the driver's side. I mean, this car is really, really nice. And the thing about it, that dash, and all the instruments are clean. I mean, you can't find anything wrong with this car. Automatic, you know. This thing got an RPM meter down there. Oh yeah. Yeah, that means this thing has some power. Yeah. If I find out what type of motor is in here, I'll put it in the description. But this thing is very, very clean. This is a real nice Oldsmobile, guys. It, Gateway Classic Cars, come check it out. Okay, you Chevy truck fans, I found one for you. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Let's take a look at it. Okay guys, here's another one. That's a nice 71 Chevy with a 454 big black truck. Hot rod. Look at this red paint on here with the black trim. Look at the exhaust pipes right there coming out the side. You know, very NASCAR-like. And look at that, you know it's light in the back, so you ain't gonna be carrying much weight other than the weight of the bed itself. This thing is very, very clean, guys. Very, very clean truck. It's right here at Gateway Classic Cars in Crete, Illinois. Only thing you gotta do is give them a call or go online. Yep. This is a very, very clean truck. Uh, and I can't help but say that again. This is a very, very clean truck. C10 with a 454 in it. This ain't nothing but trouble for a youngster. Yeah, so you need a grown man like myself to handle this. You know, because Papa got experience. That youngster will tear this thing up. Look at that roof. Look at that roof. It's very clean. And looking in at the interior. Oh, this is pretty. Black with the red. Stick shift, oh yeah. Look at that dash. Look at that dash. Going around on that side. You know, this is beautiful. We're gonna take a look at the driver's side now. Well, 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 looking in here. Stick shift. I do, I do believe I said that. What I could see, I thought it was, yeah. It looks like a stick shift.
Sometimes with the setups, you could be fooled. <laughs> it's automatic. I swore it was a stick shift. Well, anyway, this thing is really nice. Beautiful, nice and clean in here. You know, headliner. Let's see if we get the headliner in here. Headliner looks really nice going all the way across to the back, all the way to the passenger door. Oh, yeah. Driver's seat, very clean. This is a nice vehicle, y'all. It's right here, uh, Gateway Classic Cars. Give them a ch check them out. Give them a call. Take a look at this thing. It's for sale.